experience backstage access, meet the pros, and explore muscle building insights. VNM TV, the latest bodybuilding news. He goes, you know, you start breaking stuff down to me, and he goes, you know, since our conversation yesterday, I've been looking at pictures of all the guys, and he's like, I'm looking at their pose and your pose. He goes, and you will be in the top three. He goes, chances are it's going to be between you and Phil. <laughs> and I'm laughing. I was just saying, <laughs> okay, Chris, <laughs> I'm going to go now. <laughs> no, you're pushing. <laughs> Don't push it. <laughs> you know, but it was good to see that, you know. Like from the get-go, he had a game plan, and you know, when I started with him, I was only two, 235 pounds, and um, I just kept getting bigger at the same weight. And when we did the first show, Tampa, I weighed 237, and then we did Dallas six days later, and I told him I want to be. I want to be better in six days. He goes, eh, no problem. You'll be better in six days. That was 231. And then he was like, okay, we have four weeks for the Olympia. You're going to be over 240. <laughs> I was like, oh, great. I was like, this I got to see. <laughs> you know, but he built me up to where I was like two, 255. And then by the time we dry out, I was 241. Mm, yeah, yeah. Coming from 237. Yeah. Mm. But does he have to eat more than you, that you, that you usually would eat? Yeah. He wants you to grow in the show. He wants you to be ready and then grow into the show. But were you always normally a good eater? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of find it hard to turn out food. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's the problem with, with most of us, you know. We, we just don't eat enough food, you yeah. know, like four or five meals, you know, maybe two protein shakes. Oh, I'm happy. Uh -huh. you know? <laughs> it's like, I know a lot of guys who are like afraid to eat carbs, especially late at night. Chris is like, your last meal is going to be 14 ounces of steak. 16 ounces of sweet potato. I was like, thank God, I go to sleep full. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because of only of only a, and you, and you only have a protein uh, a protein meal, you know, like so let's say maybe fish or something with some veggies. Man, within yeah, like 45 oh. minutes an hour, this thing is already digested yeah, from your like, stomach. I want you to have a big steak and then go to bed. I was like, Oof. thank you. <laughs> so I was going to sleep every night happy. <laughs> No, but that way of eating, at the time you're on stage, you see the way the person glow. The person didn't suffer like somebody else. It was the first, this was the first year I ever competed in amateur or pro, where I didn't feel like I, I, I dieted. Mm. You know, I felt as if I ate a lot of food, I felt great. Um, and I think that was the reason why I was able to still diet a month after the Olympia and did the shows afterward because you know, one, we were already in shape, and he just kept feeding me. He was like, you know, when I asked him, I was like, hey, you know, would you uh, go on the European tour with me? This is before the Olympia. He was like, I have to get back to you now, because I told him I didn't care what happened. At the Olympia, I wanted to do the shows afterwards, just to the fact that, you know, growing up and, and being a fan of bodybuilding, I've always admired what the guys did after the Olympia. You know, they would go in the Grand Prix after Yeah, it was always cool. And I said, man, one day I want to do that. You know, I want to be you know, like the Flex Wheeler, the Kevin, the Sean, you know, all those They guys. would all go to Hungary, Hungary England, exactly. Germany. You know, that was a whole tour, like six shows back then. You know, I was like, <laughs> I, was like I want to do that. I was like, I want to know what it feel like to do that part. And, um, you know, he was like, let me think about it. And I was like, I was like, it doesn't matter. I was like, I didn't care what happened at the Olympia. I want to make that trip, so we bought our tickets in advance before we even went to the yeah. Olympia. <laughs> <laughs> and um, he sent me this folder, like right after the Olympia. He goes, "This is going to be the European Destruction Tour." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I'm like, "Okay." He goes, "Well, the first one, 
he goes for Arnold Spain. He's like, I'm gonna get you so fucking shredded, Sean, that everybody's gonna fuck up after that trying to catch up. <laughs> and I was like, okay, coach, you know, <laughs> you tell me what to do. And he goes, no, really. He goes, I have not lost in Spain, and I'm not gonna lose the first show. <laughs> Chris take this very seriously, man. He take it more serious than we do that he preps. Because he feels as if nobody should beat us. <laughs> That's the spirit, man. You know, even when I lost a show in Prague, he was... But what, what happened? Do you feel like you were, your body was tired or was Wolf just, just better? Because I was like, I was like, hmm. Uh, hmm I, I couldn't really make up my mind, you know. That's I, why Chris wrote in here. <laughs> I kept looking at the the, 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 at the pictures at every, uh, from every angle. That's why he's like, um, hey, where's my picture? Just watch Prague's show. You destroyed it. I actually forget the guy's name. Yeah, the other guy's name, yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> Chris was steaming. He was mm -hmm. like, uh, you know, we found out after prejudging that I was losing. And uh, the message that we got was, hey, you know, you're not losing because of the way how you look. Yeah, because <laughs> because in my opinion, you kept getting better yeah. and better and, and better and better. So saying. that's why I couldn't like really comprehend what was really happening. When, the, when Chris found, he goes, losing to who? And I was like, to Dennis. He goes, what? Mm. How? <laughs> and, you know, he, we went back to the room and, you know, me and him and Eduardo, we sat down and we had a little team meeting. And he goes, this is what we're going to do. Because <laughs> I wanted to go out there and destroy everyone. He goes, this is your next two meals before the finals. And I was like, okay. He goes, I want it to be fuller. I need to be tighter. In like five hours. <laughs> He's like, there's no way we lose in Prague. And then when we lost, he was just like, I don't believe this shit. <laughs> so I know Chris is carrying it over to this year. <laughs> But you know, in my opinion, I told him, I was like, listen. I was happy that I lost that show. To some effect, that it gave me a little bit more motivation for 2013. Of course, of course. I was like, until you open to the idea of losing a show, you will always lose because you're not really preparing yourself as if someone could beat you just as if yeah. who's going to stop me. Yeah. You know, so I've always prepared myself as if someone is right on my back. No, you, you can know. close the gap, you know? Exactly, mm. you know, so I was like, is either you keep getting better or you keep saying ah nobody's gonna beat me all I gotta do is show up like Ryan <laughs> <laughs> <Right. laughs> weren't you guys on the, on the same flight huh you and Ronnie Ronnie yeah because he's also coming uh, I think tomorrow oh tomorrow okay. yeah yeah the flight I was almost empty I think there was maybe six people in the flight yeah. <laughs> So now you're going straight to the Olympia or do any shows prior no, to the Olympia? No, just to Olympia. Okay. This is the first time ever just competing, just getting ready for one big show. Mm. Yeah. Why, did, why did you skip the Arnold in, in Ohio? Uh, I was tired. Uh, that, that, that I can imagine. <laughs> you know, I wanted to, honestly man, I wanted to do it, but after Prague, you know, Chris was like, listen, okay, we need to take a step back, I need to take a couple months off, just need to relax, eat, get fat, get happy, <laughs> and then start all over again. <laughs> and you still ain't looking fat, man. <laughs> so, you know, I was like, thank you. <laughs> Because, you know, it was, I did eight shows last year, I had hernia surgery, I guess suppose, I went to 10 countries to guess suppose, I had five guess suppose in, in 10 appearance in 10 countries, so. I was so tired that even when I had surgery, I was supposed to take a longer period of time off on it. I took like five weeks off and started back training. And, uh, and I told myself that after surgery, that if I wasn't able to close the gap between you know, the top six guys in the world, I was going to quit. Mm.
going to see something different than the Olympics this time. Yeah. Because everybody was like, yeah, if only he can get his back a little bit thicker, this and that, a little bit fullness here, but yeah, it's going to be something at the Olympics. That's only five weeks. Yeah.